Hello everyone, this is Repuncture, and we're back with F1 2015. This is race number eight, the Austrian Grand Prix. We're getting ready for qualifying one. No one seems to have an outright winner in mind. It is certainly difficult to predict. I would say it's advantage. Just listening to the uh, can never rule anything out. the commentary. I reckon we are probably looking at three or four teams who can realistically fight for pole position. Could be anybody's pole position. We'll take a look at our setup here. We're running three one wings. Transmission didn't do a whole lot with that. Our suspension geometry, kind of our standard. This is our suspension. We didn't do anything with the tires and wait just slightly back. And here we go with wall climb one. Coming up to the line. Felipe Massa would have been hoping for a lot more today, but he's just been unable to put a good lap together. And that's resulted with him going out in Q1. And we made it out of qualifying one easily in ninth. Even our teammate made it out of qualifying one. which is kind of amazing for McLaren this year. So here's qualifying two. That's a very disappointing performance from Fernando Alonso. He would have been wanting a top 10 start for tomorrow's race, but instead he's gone out in Q2. Our teammate was disappointed to miss out in qualifying three, but we made it just barely. We ended up in eighth. And here we go with qualifying three. Austria is kind of a short lap and there it's not too difficult, so there's only like this uh, section coming up here, going up, up the hill. This corner is a little tough because it's especially rough on the on the rear tires. But all in all, we're we're not too bad at it. Just kind of hitting everything perfectly here. We're doing it about as best as we can. And going up to the line. We're happy. We're always happy with our qualifying. We have a, we're able to qualify well. Fantastic qualifying result from Nico Rosberg and a performance which should see him target and we ended up in fifth position he really knows how to put in a great lap Nico Rosberg went on pole show it, I'm sure but Lewis Hamilton struggling he's only in, he's in tenth that's kind of a little strange Welcome one and all to Spielberg for today. So here we go with the race. Grand Prix. The circuit is owned by Red Bull. One might think this will give them an advantage. Only time will tell. We'll take a look at the uh, tire strategies. Or strategy. Looks like it's three stops. Two options and a prime. First stop, 11th, lap 11 or 12. Then lap 29 or 30. That's kind of strange. The first options don't last very long. You should have some space going into the first corner, so try to keep it tidy. And here we go with the start of the Austrian Grand Prix. We got a little wheel spin, and our tires are a little hot. We're kind of bunched up. We're going on the outside, and we've kind of lost everybody. I wonder what happened. Let's take a look. We're on board with one of the Red Bulls. I think it's Ricardo. 
going into the first corner. We're on the left there. He got sandwiched by the Lotus. There was three wide going into the first corner and he lost out. So that's why there's a big gap to the behind us now. Looks like in front of us, it looks like Raikkonen and Botas are, are battling it out. Kind of like in real life. They're still side by side. They've been side by side for a while now. Oh, they get, there's a little there's a little contact in front of us. Botas kind of pushed Raikkonen out of the way and moved up into third. But we're sort of keeping up with them so far. But it's only the first lap. We're going to move ahead here to lap, end of lap three. Where the cars in front of us have definitely gotten away in. Now Grosjean is looking a little feisty going in here inside. We give him a little bump. We're just riding his rear end for a little bit there. So we're down in the six, but we're going to see if we can retaliate. We're going a little deep. Went a little deep in that corner and kind of pushed him off the track. And we somehow got the DRS, but we're not pulling away from anybody. <laughs> we kind of stayed on the outside there too long, and Grosjean's going outside of us still on this outside even Hamilton tried to go all around us but we kind of got in front of him again and in lap 7 Hamilton is way faster than us even though he's on primes he's using a creative track to get around us and drop us in the P7. And on lap 8, we have Maldonado going by us pretty easily. We gave him, him a little bump, but our, our tires are like totally dead. We have nothing. So at the end of the lap, we're going to come in and change. We're, we're on the grass and that slows us down massively. That's not going to help. Our option tires here didn't, did not last very long. So I, I switched, instead of getting another set of options, I switched it to prime tires because they just don't seem to last very long here. And on lap 12, we moved up back in the 16th. As all the rest of the cars are coming in for their pit stops. So now we're up in the 15th now. Next lap. Moved up in the 13th now. Next lap. Another car in the pit. We're up in the 12th. We've now caught up with the the Marusha. Who's up in 11th. He's following our teammate. And our engineer is happy with our overtake of the Marusha. Now on lap 17 we're we're behind our teammate. I don't know if he's stopped yet or not. Because I think he started on the little prime tires. Brilliant. Nice and our engineer is happy that we overtook our teammate. And there was another car in the pit that we... A couple cars in the pits that we moved up into the 8th now. Lap 20. 
going a, a tad deep. And Masa is behind us now. He's not behind us anymore. So we're back down into ninth. But in lap 21 into 22. Ricardo is in the pit lane. So we're back up in the eighth. And lap 27. Nasser, the Saubert, is behind us. He was behind us. He, he spun out. He didn't hit us or anything. And we also moved up in seventh because it looks like Hamilton dropped out of the race. And lap 28. It seemed like a good time to come in for another set of tires. So we're going to put on some options this time and see how long they last this time. As they theoretically last longer with less fuel. According to our pit tire strategy. And we're coming out in 12th, it looks like. And lap 30. Car in the pit lane. So we're back up at now 11th. And lap 34. Perez is... He, oh, he had to let Rosberg go by because Rosberg is uh, passing us. Or lapping us. So we snuck by him. Now there's some cars in the pits, so we're up in the ninth. And then Hulkenberg is right here. And we're having a drag race to the, to the next corner, and we're, we're losing. He got away in the uh, DRS straight, but at the end of the lap, we're all over him again. We're going to try the outside. We've moved into P8. That's P8 now. And we're up into P8. It looks like he moved into the pit lane, so... Looks like Ricardo has just entered the pit. Now Ricardo is in the pit lane again. Got out ahead of Ricardo up in the seventh, and now on lap 42. Ricardo, with the fresher tires, is now. We're kind of locked in with him there for a second. But now he has the dare acid, and he's going to pull away. And lap 44, our option tires are kind of dying now. And now there's light rain in 15 minutes. But I selected prime tires. I should really have gone for another set of options. But you can't really change now. When you get into the, the pit lane, you can't really, you can't select to change tires, so. To make it more realistic. So we'll, we'll oh, we, Kind of touched the wall there. It looks like Kuviat has gone by us and we're in, into ninth. But in lap 48, we've caught up with him with our fresh tires. And we're, we were up briefly and we have the DRS, but we just don't have the speed. But we're going to outbreak him. And get back up on the eighth. In lap 57, it's been raining for the last couple laps now. So I thought we're gonna gamble and and put on the intermediates now. Cause
because about that 55 the engineer said it was kind of like iffy either way it's you know it was probably a little too early for the intermediates but i thought a couple more laps maybe we'll give it a shot And we're gonna come back out in eighth. And lap 59, our our tires are on fire. <laughs> we came in a, a little too early, although it didn't really cost us any positions. And then lap 64, the cars, uh, other cars now have come in for their to change the intermediates, and maybe they waited a little bit too long to change because we definitely made up some time again on all these people so we're up in the seventh and now we're catching up with Groshan they're going really slowly on there and we snucked by Groshan as you can see my tires are still a little warm And on lap 70, Nico Rosberg has won the Austrian Grand Prix. We're still running in sixth here. We kind of got by Grosjean, and Massa is uh, about 30 seconds up the road. We're just trying to get it home now. Get our eight points. But the rain has definitely helped us out here. As we seem to be a little bit better in the rain than everybody else. We're, we're going a little off track there. We're exceeding the limits by about an inch or two. And there we go. Finish sticks in the Austrian Grand Prix. Eight points. We're still not happy with it. What a win for Nico Rosberg today. A really strong drive from the German, and he's brought his Mercedes home in first place. He looked very happy with his day's work as he celebrated up there on the podium. What a weekend it's been, and one that's been thoroughly enjoyable. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling installment of this Formula One season. All right, so there we are. I'll take a look. Lewis Hamilton, first to uh, DNF, and then our teammate also did not finish the race. Only three people finished on the uh, on the lead lap. Everybody else was at least a lap or two down. So Nico Rosberg, Kimi Raikkonen, Valtteri Bottas, the top three. We're still in ninth place with our 26 points, although we're tied with Grosjean now. Opening up a little gap to 10th place there. And the constructors were still we're in sixth place now, which isn't too bad for McLaren this year. Well, that was the Austrian Grand Prix of my F1 2015 career mode as Jensen Button. If you liked this, give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again. Goodbye.